Hello and welcome everyone. Yesterday I was doing some programming in LabVIEW and I dealt with a problem. So I thought I should share the problem with you so that you can also learn. Yesterday I was doing some programming and I have to deal with some complex number at a point. So I did stop and uh, wondering how to resolve it. So we will talk about uh, the co uh, the co uh, the quadratic functions basically so that we can just learn how to deal with the complex numbers so right now as you can see if we run the program before running the program if you see uh, and you wonder how to uh, just remove these grid lines and how to change the background or etc the, and how to increase the font of these digits then I have just made another video named as customization of the front panel you can just watch that so that you can just learn how to do all the things so right now if I just run my program as you can see here right now uh, I have implemented some logic in here in which it is basically a simple quadratic formula which is x is equals to minus b plus minus under the square root b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a so here is the same logic minus b plus minus and this is the plus and uh, b square minus 4ac square root and then divided by and here also divided by 2 multiplied by a so this is the first root and this will be our second root and I have implemented the same thing using the formula node as an output variable 1 and the output variable 2 so right now if I run our program I see that I am I am getting the roots using these uh, as a constant say abc if I just increase or decrease any of these constant, I am getting the roots basically. So at some point, if I change my constants, I will see that I am getting started. I will get started getting nan value this value what these values represent this doesn't means that the values are infinity basically nan values are given that the lab you cannot calculate these values right now because these values are complex numbers so how to deal with those complex numbers first of all I want to make sure that uh, lab view doesn't support complex numbers uh, as the as of in inside the formula node we will see if we can get the outputs so how we can deal the complex numbers in our uh, lab view format so for that purpose we have to just change the representation of our dbls or as our inputs so the representation goes uh, cdb complex double and also uh, the representation goes cdb as double as soon as we um, i can open my magnifier so that you can see clearly As you can see in here, a Korean dot appears, which means that the, the representation still changes. So why, we, since we know that uh, uh, complex number is being generated, but still a Korean dot appears, that means that the data type is still not Korean type. So why is it? Because we need the complex numbers in here. So that means that 
we are still not dealing with the complex numbers. If we just convert those, uh, if we insert numeric palette and conversion to CDB and insert in here the same, the numeric palette and convert to CDB. And if I run again, still there is no output and I am getting NAN. And the com but we can see that our representation now is in the form of complex numbers. So how we can get the output as a complex number? So for that purpose, we must have to see where it is being started. So we must have to implement at the start or at some point where the complex number uh, is being generated is being started. So either you can change uh, it to CDB like I have changed the outputs or like you can change it to CDB complex double but we don't know where is it these values coming from so we must have to keep it to double precision number but we know that the output of these values will be solved in the form of complex numbers so we must have to insert numeric palette in a conversion and here we will insert CDB as you can see here if we insert the CDB in here we find out that our uh, constants are not accepted in our um, formula node so that represents that our formula node does not handle complex numbers so we will just insert the same thing after our um, after our node that goes to complex num and that goes to our formula node so we'll insert in here now it is accepting and similarly we must have to insert that for the a we can find out we can just find out where this is all right so we can just drag it here or I can just delete this wire and I can just attach it again so that that will give me a space to insert my CDB numeric palette and again conversion and attach with CDB so now again uh, at the C section C is attached in here so after that I can just insert my CDB complex precision number so as you can see right now if I just zoom in the corrigan dot is now removed since it is all being dealt with uh, in the form of complex numbers so now if I go and run my program as you can see in here if I just increase its width right now and select all and I can just maximize all of this width and just left edge now I can see that uh, my output variables as in the output of formula node is giving me uh, still nan as an output but my x1 and x2 roots are being calculated as in the form of complex numbers so whether if I change any number I am getting uh, the complex roots of my equation so if I just decrease so right now as an output I am getting my uh, real um, uh, roots real parts of the roots and also the complex parts of the roots so that's how you can dealt with the complex numbers in lab view I hope you like my video.